What is going in peace? What is going in? It's Valerie's Naturals Oracles. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, wherever you are. Welcome and welcome up back to my old G's and my ride or die. Thank you for being here. And you know today, do you know what I'm thinking about? I'm thinking about the situation, the problem and the action. Let's, shall, we, shall we be nosy and check out what's going on with your person or what their situation is in right now, what their problem is right now? Do you know what? I shouldn't say your person. I should just say whatever comes out. Whatever the situation is, whatever the problem is or whatever the action is, we're going to figure it out, people. But I'm going to shuffle these cards. And I'm going to take out just three cards. And we're going to see exactly what it is. And then we're going to actually clarify them, okay? So if you've not subscribed yet, why not? Hit the subscribe button and alert bell so you know when I'm going to do another video. Because as you know, and if you've looked at my previous videos, you know they get deep. And if you're into extendeds, just hit me. Hit You know, there's links below that you can actually get extendeds to my videos. I don't know if this is going to be an extended, but we'll figure it out. Okay, but you can, there's links in the description to everything, including if it resonates with you, you can donate to the channel too. Links, all the links are in my bio. And if you didn't know, I do never reach out to anybody for readings. People come to me for readings and my link is in my link tree in the description below. I would never reach out. So let me just tell you that right point blank period, because I've had a few people say to me, you did this read and this. No, you didn't come to me in the first place. You went and did something dodgy instead of doing through the proper channel. So there you go. Anyway, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance. Please give me the message. Please give me the message. What is the problem? Or should I say the situation, the problem and the actions? I'm going to take out three cards and see where we go. So... You're going to be just as surprised as me. I'm just going to take out three cards and see what it is. So, the first card is the situation. <laughs> Let's see what the current situation is. Oh! Ah! Somebody's feeling left out. This could mean a lot of things. This card, this is the situation at the moment. Don't know whose situation it is. Is it your person? Is it you? No, it's not. Is it the crotch watcher? But here's what it is. The five of pentacles is a deep one to be in, to, to have this situation. Do you see people looking poor and disheveled there? This is, somebody is losing out. Do you know when I see this card? It's like, somebody's, well, pentacles is about money, isn't it? Is this your person losing out? This is um somebody. Let's let's get down. Let's get down to business. This is somebody <laughs> who's losing money, who's losing energy, losing time on something or some situation. Somebody feels left out in the cold. Do you know what I mean? Poor little Johnny on the crutches. Is somebody feeling like the victim as well? But the thing is, all they have to do is turn around and see the light in the church window. They could have got warm inside the church, but they refuse to actually look at that because some people sometimes are in their ego. So that is the situation. Somebody's either losing feelings left out in the cold, they're losing money, and they're just not seeing the opportunities that they could have had. Now, is the opportunity you, collective? I don't know, but let's find out what the problem is. So that's the situation at the moment, but what caused the situation? I don't know, but let's find out. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is the problem. This person, whoever this is, they feel left that in the cold because this is the problem. They offered their cup to somebody else. They offered a new situation and a new cup to somebody else. And or look at the other way. This person is feeling left out in the cold and I now want to offer you this cup. But it's like, cry me a river. Do you see the water? Cry me the river. I'm more inclined to think that somebody wants to offer you this cup. That's what I'm getting. Holy Spirit, holy angels. This person is feeling, this is the situation. This person's feeling left out in the cold now. Right, for God knows what reason. They could have done all sorts of nonsense in the background, but now they want to offer this cop. This is the problem. They want to offer this cop, but why is this a problem? Let's find out what the action is, and then we can flick some cards on it and really figure out what the hell's going on. Yeah. This is the action. Their, their judgment is clouded. You can look at look at it two ways. They're seeing, this is the action. <laughs> They're seeing you blind and deaf to the situation, and that is an action in itself. 
okay, and or they're not making a choice to make a move. Although it's an action, when you see this card here, it's like they're not making a choice to make a move because their judgment is clouded because they want it there. Do you know what I'm getting from this? They want it their way and they're not moving until they get it their way, which means that either they want you to contact them or they want to be able to come in and be winning in this situation. But they're seeing at the moment that you are blind and deaf to this situation and their judgment is now clouded. Oh, my goodness. Why did I not get these cards out? I've not got these cards out for a while. Why did I not get them out before? I don't know. But first of all, we're going to figure out why this person or whatever situation this is is feeling left out in the cold. Oh. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance. Please give me the message. Please give me a message about this. Why is this five of why is this five of Pentacle here in reference to the situation? What's come out? A Queen of Swords. Yeah. Did you cut the leak karate chop? Get them the one too. And now they're feeling the pain of it. Is that what it is? I'm not even taking that because that was a dropout. But that's part of the story. Is it because you cut and delete? It's not even cutting and deleting. You could have just moved, pushed back from the situation. You could have just like stood back and said, nope. Go away with your damn nonsense. And now they want to come with the flirty attitude. No, go away with your nonsense. But I'm not taking it because my spirit guides a gangster. And what I do is I pick out and they give me the message. See, look, here we go again. Not only have we got the Ace of one, the ace of um, Cups now, we've got the Page of Cups here. This is somebody that needs... Why are they feeling left out in this coldest? Because they know they need to do this. I keep getting this message. They know they need to do this. And they're just not getting off their arse and doing it. Good luck to them. Look, look. Oh, my God. <laughs> Is this a graduation? They're just gradually stepping it up. They know that they owe you an apology. But now they want to come in with the flirty attitude. They may want to have the conversation with you, but they want to come like nothing happened, first of all. It's like they want to come in like nothing happened. It's like they don't, they don't want to do this. They want to do this. Wow. What else is coming out here? Yeah. So it's like they're sitting and watching and waiting to see what happens with you. But while that's happening, tick tock, tick tock, time is moving on, people. Time is moving on. You can't be sitting here forever doing this. What are you waiting to grow? What What is it that you're waiting for? What is these people waiting for? Instead, you're doing this to yourself. <laughs> Feeling like the victim. I don't know, but this is madness. What the one piece? What the one? Anyway, let's see what's going down. Yeah. They know that it's like um, not in a good, bad way, but they've been talking about you to people. They've been talking about, I mean, this is about together. This is about partnership. This has been in a group of people. Do you know, it's been in groups in general. And what I'm getting here is, is that um, they've been talking about this to other people. Should they come forward and actually apologize to you? Should they? They've been talking about this to other people. Like, they'll explain the situation to what happened as to what didn't happen and what their part was it and what they thought your part was in it. And um, and they're asking, they could be talking to their buddy saying, um, you know, should I, should I actually just do this or should I just pretend like nothing happened? Because some people think that because something happened years ago, that you will forget about it. But sometimes people do such grievous things to you that looking at it and them confronting it to you again, it's like it's just fresh. It's just fresh to how many, no matter how many years they did it. No matter how many years they did it, it's still fresh in your mind because it was so hurtful. Some of the things that they did, it was so hurtful. So, you know, having these conversations is not doing them any good because... You can talk all you want, but what are you going to do about the situation? Because this is about the situation. I want that one, people. I want that one. That got serious there for a minute. <laughs> because it's like these people seem to think because it's years that you're going to forget. Of course you're not going to forget, especially if it was really grievous than what they did. You see? Do they want to come in and be happy and celebrating with you? Are they got they're gonna tell you some stuff because I've got some good news today as well. Do you know what I forgot to say? I don't know if you know, I I do photography and we've come to the second and final year. I'm waiting for the final results, but I've been um nominated for a honors for my creativity. Can you believe that people? I've been 
actually nominated for um, an award in where I live in Lanc you know, in Lancashire. I've been nominated for an award. Can you believe that, people? Wow, for my photography. So <laughs> that's different. But I'm, I'm swaying off the subject now. But what I'm saying to you is, is basically, um, yeah, this person is like. Again, this is like another card. This is another set of three. There's two threes that's come out here. Three, three. It's like, again, this person is like talking to his peeps. Do you know, it's like, should I come with this flirty attitude? Should I come with the happy, happy? Should we just like go on, like I take her on a date and we celebrate certain things and this, that, and talk about celebrations. But yeah, it's like, what the hell? You know, it's like two threes has come out here. No, it's almost like they're trying to decide, should I... Should I um just apologize, have the heart to heart and move on and, and show them an emotional gesture? Or should I just come in with my flirty attitude and you know, go on like not naguan, like not naguan? No! But meanwhile, it's been fresh in your mind. And so they can't decide, so they're just sitting and watching and waiting to see what they can do. If they get in, if they, there's a crack in the door. I don't know, but let's see why, why they're doing that. Yeah, you see what I mean? The clarity... Oh, you can't make this up. You see me picking out the cards. You see me picking out the cards, people. You can't make this up. You see this? This is somebody who needs to come with some... It's like they're sitting and watching the wait because they know they've got some clarity truth they need to give to you, but they don't want to do it. It's like, do I apologise? Do I come in with the flirty attitude? Or do I just tell the truth and, uh, and, and slay the devil? I'd rather the truth, wouldn't you, people? I would just rather the truth and move on from that. I'd rather the truth. Don't come with the apology ten years later. <laughs> Don't come with the emotional gesture when you weren't doing it before. Don't come with the flirty attitude because you're just playing games because you don't want to talk about it. Come with this. This is what's off spirit. No matter how... Do you know... Tell the truth and slay the devil. The truth will set you free. In all circumstances, the truth will set you free eventually. You know, people can lie on you all you want, but, you know, if you're honest, upright and truthful, tell the truth and slay the devil. That's all I've got to say on that one. That was deep. So that was the situation, people. That was the situation. I'm like, it's done struck already. <laughs> It's like this person is feeling left out in the cold because they know they should be stepping to you, but they just have to... I keep getting this message of hesitation. Why do they keep hesitating? Because they want to come forward and offer this card. They want to offer this card. This is the problem for them. They want to come forward. You see, this is why they're in this situation. With, they're in this situation. Feeling left out in the cold because they want to offer this card, but they're all in an orange with this. What are they waiting for? <laughs> Please tell me what they're waiting for. Please tell me what they're waiting for. So now, there's the problem. Why is this a problem? Because my guess is, it's because they want to step to you and they don't know how to because they know they was in the wrong. But it could, other things could come up. Other things could come up. So let's find out. So Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Guides, Ancestors, Beloveds, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance. Please give me the message. Thank you. Please give me the message. What is this message? Oh, I'm in a good mood because I've been nominated for an award. <laughs> Can you believe that, people, for my photography? Oh, <laughs> the commission is. <laughs> anyway, yeah, they want to come forward to you. They want to come forward to you. Can you believe that? Do you see what I mean? Do you see what I'm saying? This is the problem. The problem is they want to offer this card and they want to come forward to you. But this card always says to me, and I know it's in kind of in a negative sense, in the positive sense, you have, you know, you're in a strong mind to move forward. You're resilient as to what you want to move forward to. But I always say when I see this card sometimes, particularly in specific situations, it's like, do they have the structure and discipline? Do they have this structure and discipline that you want? you know, for them to move forward. Because if they're doing all of this in the situation problem, in the situation, and coming forward is a problem now. Because this is part of the problem. Part of coming forward is part of the problem, isn't it? Because it's in the problem position. Yeah. They conf Do you see what I mean? They conflict. Spirit come true, spirit come true. Because, like, this person is conflicted. They 
want to come forward. They want to offer this cup, but it's a conflict for them because of what they did. I've had this conversation with quite a few people, okay? And like, with a few people. And I can say, you know, it's like, these people have done them wrong. They know they've done them wrong. They feel ashamed about what they did now. Some of them, I'm not saying all of them, some of them feel ashamed about what they did. And some of them don't like, don't want to talk about it though. Because it's just like, it's dragging, it's, there's some people it's like dragging up the past. But if you don't talk about it, open it and get it out in the open and in the air, it's always going to be sitting there in the present. Because it's an open-ended conversation that you should have had. So if you don't have those conversations, it's always going to be open-ended for you and you're always going to resent that situation. And you shouldn't try it. You should try and forgive it. But nine times out of ten, human nature is such that we resent resent certain things because certain things was not said. Some conversations weren't had. And all it needs is a conversation. All it needs is a conversation. But sometimes people don't look at it. They, they, they sometimes get into the stance of, I am feeling ashamed. I am conflicted. I am conflicted as to what to do because I don't want to admit to being wrong. I don't, I'm in my ego. I'm not seeing my shadow self. When people do certain things to you, especially like when they gaslight you stuff, not so much gaslight you, like love bomb you or make you feel unworthy it's because they're feeling unworthy themselves. And now they're conflicted because they know they, they inflicted on you, not knowing that they need to do the shadow work and the inner work on themselves too. So this is why they're conflicted, because they have to do the shadow work and understand where they did what they did from what they didn't do, do you know, and admit and fess up. So this is why they're conflicted, because they need to do the shadow work themselves. And until you do that, you're still going to be in your ego, you're still going to be in your pride. Because they did the wrong, they're wrong and strong. I call it being wrong and strong, you see, look, see what I mean? The King of Swords is here. <laughs> you can't make this up honestly you can't make this up this is the man that's in his logic and is never in his heart space and this is why they're conflicted now because they're strategizing they're trying to strategize out of a plastic bag and the plastic bag is just strangling them the more they struggle with this the more hole the hole they dig they're just digging themselves a deeper hole the plastic bag is tightening <laughs> suffocating them trust and believe have you ever seen the scenario when they put a plastic bag over their head and instead of you'd think because it's just a plastic bag or a paper bag you could still breathe and get your way out of it but you see the tighter that plastic bag goes around your face the, the, the more it restricts you and this is what's happening in this scenario and I know I know I shouldn't that is a, maybe it's a wrong analogy I don't know but I'm telling you this person is conflicted and they're trying to logic their way out of a plastic bag and it's not happening it's just getting tighter and tighter. That loose is the lot. The more time they spend doing this, the more the noose is around their neck. Because they could have had this. Or are they thinking about their Pentacles? Is it now they want to move forward to you because of money as well? Because they're losing out. There's a lot of money on this table. Look, they're losing out. This is their situation. They're losing money. And then maybe they want to come through to you because they realise you are the money girl. You are the money shit. You are the money man. <laughs> I don't know. But they feel like they're losing out. And they're in their victim mode because they should have... They picked to their... Pick. Again, it's like they... they it's not suggesting anything about what they did around here. But what I've got here is, is if somebody wants to come forward with an apology and suddenly wants to flirt with you, and this is a reconciliation, but, you know, they've been talking about you to other people, then you know that there's something that they did in the background. And I'm not going to discuss what they did in the background today, but they did something in the background that they are hesitating coming forward to you. They want to, with a, they want to come forward to you in a vengeance because... You are home to this person. You're home to this person. Because this is about the stable home situation. This is about where the money there. This is about where the stability is. And this is what they're looking at. But also, this is the ultimate money situation. Is that what it is? That, you know, because I'm telling you, and I, I might have said this before, and I can ramble on, but you see, if you've, especially if this person is really a divine counterpart, okay, and you do get together, you'd be the ultimate power couple. You'd be the people that is making the penny penny. You'd be making generational wealth with your grandchildren and your grandchildren's children will be still benefiting off the money that you make between that partnership. 
And the way you would make that money wouldn't be in an underhanded way either. It would be that it would be something that would benefit the community, community or whatever. But at the same time, you still don't make the pain to kill it. It's a balanced win-win situation. But these people don't seem to understand that. That when you F over your counterpart, your counterpart is always going to be, uh, you know, if you did your person wrong and you knew for well what the situation was, you knew that this was a divine connection, you're only causing generation after generation of karma for yourself. Because your counterpart, both of you are here to even break ancestral chains. And people don't seem to understand these things. By being, not even being, doing any spiritual work, by being a spiritual person and going within and doing the shadow work, you are breaking ancestral chains. And people don't seem to understand that. Okay, you're breaking ancestral karma. And so when people, and I say all that to say, when these divine counterparts piss you over because they know they can because to you this is somebody that they feel that you could always they can always come back to you when they piss you over and spirit finally opens your eyes and says look this is what's happening this is what's going down collective and you start putting up your defensives and start blocking and, and blocking and deleting and karate chopping <laughs> and they don't get why you're doing this now so they're in the victim mode they're in the victim mode when you start opening your mouth and say certain things they don't like it because once upon a time they could say whatever shit they wanted to say to you and you believed it but your eyes have been opened and this is what they don't seem to understand so when they, and see this is what the problem is they want to come forward they want to come forward and you see this now the two of pentacles <laughs> you've balanced yourself out and you've defended yourself now from this person this logic person, whoever that is. Do you know what I mean? It's the logic person. And now that's the problem. They're in their logic. That's what the problem is. And they want this happiness. They want this happiness, but they're trying to strategize this happiness instead of surrendering to the process. And nobody's forcing anybody to do anything because we all have, this is two things in this life, spirit give us, and I will say it same time and time again, unconditional love and free will now it's the uh, it's, it's the love that may have brought you together at some point or or you know the love of that person could have you know but it's free will that has got you in this separation in the first place it's free will that got you here you know you could love this person all you want but you can love them all from afar and the problem now is, is this person's having this they're trying to strategize their way back into the happiness and they're going the wrong way around it tell the truth and slay the devil <laughs> Peace, so we're gonna move on from that because that's too much that's too much i could go on forever on that one but we have the situation we have the problem the problem now is for this person is that they, they're feeling in their mindset because they want to come forward to you but they don't know how to because of what the the, the the pain they caused in the past the pain they inflicted in the past and now we've got the action and this is the two of swords now this is a strange one to be in action but it's like the action here is could be that you are blind and deaf to this situation and oh they're just clouded as to what to do this is remember this is the situation the current situation the problem and the action they 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 don't know what to do because they're all up in their logic if they did come from their house they knew exactly what to do is come forward and come with this <laughs> you see what i mean this person's burdened you see the bandage run them head victim mode <laughs> because they caused this they caused this on their self and now they're classing themselves as the victim holy spirit holy angels thank you for your guidance protection assistance why is the two of swords here spirit why is the two of swords why is this in the action situation why is the action thank you please give me the message holy spirit holy angels thank you for your guidance protection assistance yeah they're in this. This is what I mean when I say the judge is clouded. This is the Eight of Swords, and the Eight of Swords speaks of being trapped in your own mind. You've made a trap for yourself, okay? And I don't know why this has got to do with the action, but that could be their action, non-action, because they're stuck in their head. <laughs> it could be non-action. You see what I mean? And the problem is, yeah, they're stuck in their head because you can't. You delete your karate the chop. There's nothing but swords coming out here. This is a lot to do with the mind. This is a lot to do with things that they should be communicating and they're not. Do you know what I mean? Their, their judgment is just clouded in their mind. Do you know? They, they don't know if they're going left or right. They're, stuck, they're certainly stuck in it. This is a trap they made for themselves. 
because you cut them out now whereas before you wouldn't have done that you would have always run back to this person or you'd have always always let them get away with what they were getting away with you always let them gaslight you do you know for example somebody could have told you oh um we split up because of this so no we split up because you actually have a wife and you never told me and they say no no that's not what the case i wasn't married in it and they're gaslighting you because they was <laughs> you get what i'm saying <laughs> you get what i'm saying so instead of that happening you cut the leak crap the truck give them the one two and they don't like it i want that one piece what i want and now here was what's going on you see what i mean judgment is here Spirit is here with the judgment. I want that one, peeps. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to put this on pause a minute because something's going on. Wait. Sorry, peeps. Sorry, peeps. I thought that was the door. <laughs> but yeah, judgment is here. Did you make a judgment? This is the judgment you made, isn't it? You stood back from this situation. You just said plain and straight. You're selfish. You're an asshole. You should have known better. Do you know, whatever you said, <laughs> whatever you said, but you were plain and blunt and to the point. And if you're like me, I don't, you know, once upon a time I would be shouting and making up noise and whatever, and I would shout after people. But you know what? You don't have to shout to get your point across. You just tell them how you feel and you leave it at that. There's nothing more to say after that. Do you know what I mean? You just tell them what you think and you leave it at that. And, you know, if they want to get in a shouting match, they get in the shouting match by themselves. But you made a judgment here to cut out what don't serve you. So let's see what else is coming out here. I'm not going to take this much further because this is the action. Yeah. And now this person's burdened. They're, they're burdened. They're up in their head. They're not only up in their head. They are felt like being left out. They feel like left out in the cold, and that's the whole situation in the beginning. They've been left out in the cold because you just like made the judgment and not to um, entertain this anymore. And now this person, like, see the confusion again. Two two. It's like it's like two twos here now. I've got two threes. I've got two twos. It's just like what's going? No, I've got three twos. Two 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 people. Two two two. I'm not even joking. Two of pentacles. Two of swords. Two of cups. Two of wands. This is ridiculous. All you need is the two of cups, and we're done. But this is not about. This is not about the love or the the love they don't have or the love they do have. It's them trying to come forward because this is definitely people that could be separated. Oh, you could even be still talking. But what it is? This is the undertones. This is like you're the fly on the wall type thing. Do you know what I mean? It's like um, things that they should be doing and they're not doing, okay? And this is definitely about your person, whether it's a man, it's a woman, it's um, non-binary, same sex, it doesn't matter. You know, energy is energy at the end of the day. Energy is energy. So what I'm getting here is, is this person's judgment is they're at a pathway. They're at a path. They don't know what to do because they want this happiness. They want this happiness. They really want that. They want this happiness. They want this abundance. And they know now that they turned the wrong way. That you could have been like, although, because of what I'm getting here as well is that you could have been, you could have been the big ultimate test for this person. And they failed miserably. Do you know, you were sent, you could have been sent as an earth angel to this person, for real, for real. Okay. You could have been sent as an earth angel to this person. And they effed up royally. Because they, some of them didn't see your worth. Some of them didn't see who you was. Some of them didn't try to understand you. And, you know, and, and this is what's happened. So now they're, they're still at this indecision mode. They're at this indecision mode. They're at this indecision mode. Do you see what I mean? This is 222. Two, two. Go and look that up, people. That's significant. That's significant to somebody. That might even be your numbers. Mine is 444, 1444, 444. Four, 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 four. Anything to do with the fours. Because that was the numbers that saved me in the first place. But that's another story. I should really sit down and do some story times. But um, this is here. This is somebody at a crossroads. Let's get one more card out. I'm not going to drag this out much further. But let's get one more card out. Yeah. Because they know they did wrong. The judgment that, made, that you made is that, that you know this person did whatever they did to win. It was almost like they did whatever they did to win. They, they didn't care that they was causing pain and conflict. 
They didn't care. So what do you do? You cut out what don't serve you. That's what you did. So this is the action, people. This is the action. So, like I said, the situation. They're, they're in they're in thingy mode. They know they did this because you made this judgment. The problem is the action is they can't. They, they're stuck in whatever they're stuck in. They're stuck in this time warp. They're stuck in their mind. It's like they're stuck in a time warp. They're stuck in their mind. They can't get past the fact that you actually out. No, well, I'm not going to say outwitted them, but you weren't putting up with their nonsense anymore. You saw them for who they really was. And if this is really a divine counterpart, they're suffering right now. They're suffering right now, but they would never admit to it because they behave like this. You would never know what the left hand was doing from the right hand because they're all up in their logic and their strategies. It's like chess. They play chess in their mind. If I do this, what will happen? If I do that, what will happen? And this is why they are stuck in their ego and their pride and they won't do the right thing. So until they do the right thing, they will sit in that karma. They will sit in that karma. And some of these people don't see it as karma. Some people see it as, oh, oh well... That's life. No, that's karma hitting you. Karma nyam sabadi bati. That's what it is. <laughs> anyway, oh, that's enough of that. Until next time. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe, hit the alert bell, so you can get some more of these videos. And most of all, please, if it resonates with you, please show your appreciation. And go down to the links, and there's various links there to actually donate to the channel. So until next time, people, take care. <laughs>